hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to listen for the changes and we are going to merge those changes with the, the list we already have so this is the data right we already have and with the new changes which we are getting after doing the subscription you will get new data like the new post which has been added so we'll merge that and we'll combine that in the original data okay so what all arguments we need to pass okay i just have looked into the documentation this document is about the subscription which we have and then there, there is update query is a second argument that will take care of the update which needs to be done once we receive the new payload through the subscription right subscribe to more this is in the use effect means whenever there is a subscribe to more is coming after you do the mutation every time we will receive the payload because we are subscribing it at the client side so the new payload we will merge with the existing data we have from the post list okay so it takes an argument let's see what it takes an argument it's a previous and we can destructure the subscription data this is the payload which we receive simple arrow function and in this we will just check if if we are receiving the data from subscription then only if we don't receive a data first of all that means we don't need to merge the new data so we can just return the previous data which we have otherwise we need to create a post we need to get the the new post data from the subscription payload so this is a subscription data now we need to see how we are getting the data so here we have the post information inside this and there is a data we will talk we will we will take a look onto the graphql console how this data is structured and once we receive everything this in the inside the update query because now we have received the new payload right the new payload then we can simply return okay merge the data using spread operator this is our previous data and these are the new posts which i got new posts okay this is the new post and this is the previous post okay so this is how we are merging the data and when we now rest all this is a simple form html form with the help of bootstrap which is doing a handle submit and we are call passing these form title and form body and all the argument nothing much important but this part is important whatever we are doing here now when we run this uh, thing what all inputs we get let's see when we run this in the in the browser i was already running this try to see how it works now this is the, just a web socket console okay because all the subscriptions which we are going to receive will be coming through web socket interface let's see i'm type typing tk sharma and i'm doing post right so this is another payload which we have passed so let me just quickly reload this and we should be able to see everything okay we'll subscribe to this now i'm sending a test payload you can see this is the mutation i have submitted i mean i'm just doing a mutation from this front end i'm not doing subscription i'm just sending a mutation graphql server is handling that mutation doing the state change and returning a subscription which we are already listening through the web socket interface and here i got the data inside the payload so what my data structure look like this payload is a subscription payload data that has a data that has a post that again has a data so here we are getting the new data 
and this data is being updated somewhere like you can see test test published true right so you can see this payload we are receiving from this payload using the subscribe to more we are receiving the data payload.data which has a post so post.data this contains our actual payload object and mutation is nothing but the created right so uh, this is how we are receiving the data through the subscription using simple use query right so this is a simple demo like how these things really works when you click on to the submit we are sending a mutation and mutation you can see here it's like http post right this is 4000 4, port http post and this is the body and you can see in the body what we are sending i will show on the json parser like what is the content of this mutation here the mutation is create post i hope this will visualize now you can see the query is stringified i mean all the queries are stringified these are the variables we are passing title body published and author id operation name is create post now these variables will get replaced with the title with the actual values at the server side okay so this is about all about simple demo where we are doing the query we are doing mutation we are also handling subscription I, I will publish this simple example of listing of the post and subscribing to the list of the post and you can take a look now next thing we are going to talk about is yoga graphql with mongodb till now we are just using mock data and receiving the data updating the data deleting the data let's do it with the the proper structure we can use the mongodb and a user model and let's see how it goes thanks everyone